Hey friends, just getting up. Um, it was a lot of fun uh, making that quick little video with uh, my sisters and my brother over. Um, glad you all enjoyed meeting folks. Uh, we have some stuff going on today for uh, Native Omaha Days. Um, it's kind of an uh, annual event uh, focused on the black community in Omaha and uh, they have several events. Uh, one is this big awards ceremony and uh, concert tonight and where they uh, um, give out awards to uh, different people in the community. A lot of them are folks that have passed on and are being recognized. And finally, my dad is being recognized. He was um, a local musician, um, had a music studio, taught a lot of students. I know he influenced a lot of people musically in a lot of good ways, so we're really happy about this. So that's what they're in town for. Couldn't pass up the chance to introduce you to them. I do have some records that I've barely had a chance to listen to because um, many things, but I will get to them soon. But in the meantime, I'll show them. And um, yeah, um, Rob Penix, when I'm showing the records, a lot of times I'll slip, I just take it off because I want you to be able to see the, the cover better, you know. And so this is a band called Felt. It's a reissue. It's a an American band from the early 70s and reading this stuff on the back, the leader of the band was just a, a kid, 17 years old at the time they made this. And that comes across a bit in the enthusiasm of the music. Um, also, whoever's singing sounds pretty young. But for with all that in mind, um, this is a really, really highly charged and pretty um, sophisticated in part. Um, the one cursory listen I've given to it so far passes muster for sure. I'll tell you one thing though, I really love this cover. That's just one of the strangest um, photographs and then the uh, implications with the word felt. It uh, can even be a little disturbing, but I like it. I picked this up happily, even though the booklet wasn't in, in it. Recommended Records for a while put out these quarterlies and they would, they would be compilations of artists on their label but they would also come with a big book of all kinds of art and text. This was number one, volume one, which I recently picked up with the booklet done in, but this is really a wonderful recording. It's got um, music by the five UUs. I've shared those guys with you. Um, Steve Moore, Lars Palmer of Zamla Mamas Mana, among others, it's a really good one. Got this in the mail this week. Uh, the Inner Mystique by Chocolate Watch Band. You know, this is a real interesting record. I do believe this is the what, the record that the band barely appear on. And it sounds like it. It sounds like there's three different bands on here. Overall, um, I like it. There are a couple of throwaway tracks, but it starts off really good, and the cover is just excellent. I love that cover. If you've not watched, recently you saw that I found a reissue of Odyssey and Oracle and isn't it funny how it goes sometimes lo and behold at my favorite um, used store they got in a copy second this is a second pressing second US pressing of Odyssey and Oracle it's well played but I had been wanting an original or at least one of these for years and I got them both within the space of a week <laughs> um, Partially what I wanted this for was to have it on the original date label. Uh, I like labels like Ryan or Brian Rocks. I did a mail order with Cuneiform Records. That's a label out of uh, Maryland that I really like. Um, put out a lot of um, uh, progressive stuff and avant-garde. And they had advertised this Compendium Records um, uh, compilation and... Uh, kind of tribute album. Companion was a label out of Norway that put out 10 excellent, excellent progressive rock, jazz, whatever slice you want to call it, albums in the 70s. And there's one song each from them. Those are the different albums. I had several of them. Only thing I have now is I still have Henry Kyle concerts. I still have Blowout. Um, can't even read his name from here. I used to have Mirage, I think Jeff Recordman just got this again recently, and I used to have the Opportunity Box, and I used to have Vanessa. 
And again, when I had that uh, blowout, which I keep mentioning, and it'll probably be mentioned forever because it was a traumatic thing to go through, um, feeling like I had to perch everything because of an idea that made no sense to me even then and now. And as a result, I don't have these wonderful records. But I, again, uh, everything for a reason. I'm not lamenting it, I'm just talking about it. But um, pick this up and I've only played two sides of it. Great, great label. I also ordered from them because it was uh, low priced was this reissue of an old progressive rock album called uh, Earthly Paradise by Epidaurus. I love the label it's on. Garden of Earthly Delights, Garden of Delights with the marijuana leaf. So this album musically is great. I mean, it's a band that's, that attempted to get the Genesis ELP, yes, axis of symphonic keyboard rock together. They tried to get it together and this is made in um, 1977. And musically, they get it right. But I'm telling you, when the girl sings, ooh, sorry. I still want it. I've had this on digital for a while because the music is really good. The singing is so bad, in my opinion, and, and, and again, somebody set me straight if I'm hurting somebody's feelings, but I gotta tell the truth. The singing is so bad that I, after a little bit, I have to take it off. But the music is great. How did that happen? Limited edition of a thousand copies. I have number 746. Don't regret buying this. I knew what I, I already knew what I bought when I bought it, but um, just, I like to tell you the truth about this music, you know. Great music, I can't stand the vocals. David Borden, Mother Mallard, a fantastic c composer, musician. Pick this up by him, Migration. I've only just dropped it a little bit. Uh, haven't gotten all the way through. The Continuing Story of Counterpoint, part four is on here. What a piece of uh, work. Just fabulous. Rippling, cascading, uh, repetitive, like Philip Glass, but not like Philip Glass. I like, I like this better. I like Mother. I like David Borden um, a lot better. And it is a lot. It is in the same vein of what Philip Glass does. I, lo I love Philip Glass too. Real happy to get a copy of this. Cluster seventy one on vinyl. This is so freaky and, and weird and spaced. It's fabulous. This is awesome. And that cover is just excellent too. Really spacey, really trippy, real trippy. Just got, um, this is where I'll stop. And I special ordered this, really glad I got it. It's not the greatest of his albums, but I just wanted to have them all. And I love this reissue. David Bowie's first album called Space Oddity in America. But um, I love the song Space Oddity, but just think this is a great album cover as well. Just love that back cover, uh, that artwork. And um, it comes with a huge poster. Really nice reissue. Um, even has a custom label. Um, which I will show because I, I love it. It's uh, on the Bowie label. Pretty nice. So um, that's the latest stuff that I have to share. Just waking up. I'm usually off on Fridays. Um, just getting going with my first cup of coffee and reading. Uh, I'm looking at videos. See my family here in a couple of hours. I. Hope that everyone has a good day, a good weekend, and uh, I'm kind of waking up, so it's like I'm trying to think, what else do I want to share or just say, and I'll just have to do it the next video. I'll see y'all.